Hello and welcome to Game Reviews and More. I'm Raktarn and this is RuneScape as you can probably tell. Uh, I'm just going to tell you guys a quick little guide about how I am making my money and this will be for about middle levels, maybe 70 to 90 depending. And this is just how I've been making my money on here for now because I know a lot of things are crashing and everything's all messed up on this game but this is just the way I've been doing it and I want to make a video for game reviews and more I haven't seen any runescape videos on there so I figured why not so I hope you guys find this guide helpful and let's continue the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is what you're gonna need to wear as an equipment um, you're gonna need protection from armadil and Zamorak mainly I just threw this on because that's what I mean that's what you wear anyways but you're gonna need these two at least for where we're gonna be going and the stats that you'll need are going to be um, 70 ranged 70 defense and the rest don't really matter it helps to have high uh, magic level but that's just an optional thing but you're gonna need 70 range and 70 defense you could have less defense but you're probably gonna die um, unless you do prayer but that's not what this guy does so what you're going to need for boots are rock climbing boots unless you have um, the Trollheim teleport I believe it's called and that lets you teleport to where we're going to have to go but if you don't have it like I don't because I never train magic uh, you're going to need rock climbing boots and these can be any range uh, van braces, gloves, whatever you have that doesn't matter this you can have any type of ring, I just have a ring of life because Ring of Wealth doesn't really help for what we're going to be killing, and I'm not going to spend two mil just to buy a ring that gives you a little bit of a boost. And next thing you're going to need is uh, some, type, some type of range body. I use this, Zamorak body, but you can also, because that protects from Zamorak, obviously, and but you can replace this with a unholy book book of I don't know I think it's unholy book I don't have that I just have book of balance but if you have unholy book then you can swap that out and you can wear whatever in the middle you can wear armadillo or anything and with this if you are gonna wear armadillo and head body legs or somewhere else you can replace this with a range amulet but I'm I don't have any armadillo armor so I'm just using an armadillo pendant which you get from one of this quests. It's a really easy quest. It's I can't remember the name, but it's a really easy quest. If you find out, it takes like half an hour probably at most. And for bolts, if you have 55 Slayer, you can use broad bolts. But I actually think these work better. I think they have the same stats. I, I just noticed a higher damage output with these things, but it doesn't matter. Um as your cape or back slot you're going to need Ava's accumulator because that gives a nice range bonus and it brings your bolts back and for your legs you're going to need Torex plate legs or armadillo legs or bandos legs anything with high defense and for your helmet um, I'd suggest you know armadillo helmet Torex helmet something again something with high defense so that's all you're going to need it shouldn't cost too much to get that and besides this you're going to make all your money back from the stuff that you're gonna need. The inventory that you'll need is really simple. All you're gonna need is a few things. You're gonna need a teleport back, um, bones to peaches tabs, which you do that by whenever you kill one of the avian essies, you pick up their bones, and then once you have a full inventory of bones, you use this and it turns into peaches, and you can heal yourself with it. Um, about 200 nature runes. You don't need 200 of these, by the way. I just went a little overboard and bought that many. Um, nature runes, you probably need about 200 or so, and then a staff of fire, or about a thousand, I think. Yeah, a thousand fire runes, and that's to use high level alchemy on the rune daggers that they drop. And you're going to need a myth grapple, which you use to get to the spot. So actually, you should equip that now. And that's. Oh, and the rest will be any type of food you can use monkfish shark swordfish whatever you have it doesn't really matter because that's not what you're what's gonna like keep you there so that was that's pretty simple you just need a few things for your inventory and then next will be how to get to the spot
Alright, now once you're here, you're going to want to kill these. They're called avian, avian C. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you're want, gonna want to kill the, you know, level 75 to 90s. Because when you go into, I think it's 97, they start to hit you a lot, like a lot more often. If you're a higher level, then you obviously can attack the higher level ones. But, um, you're gonna probably want to stick with the lower level ones, and plus it's faster, so, I mean, why not? And what you are looking to get is these adamant bars. They come noted and in four. So one kill, and that is 8k. And they drop about every other or so. You kind of got to get lucky, or you don't really have to get lucky, but they drop pretty often. I mean, often enough for a lot of people to do this. As you can see, there's another guy right here trying to take my kill. And I believe those are bots with names like that. It wouldn't surprise me, but there are, are going to be a lot here. Um, and you can't really help it. I mean, they're always going to be here. But, yeah, you just got to kind of live with it. It's worth it, though. Um, and that's what you do. And when you start getting hurt, you eat, obviously eat the food that you brought. And then you pick up bones once you like to replace the slots of the food that you ate. And once you have a full inventory of bones, you use bones to peaches. And that turns them into peaches, with, which heal about 80 health. And that, like, that's your main, that's how you stay here for a long time. Because you can get a bone per one, you normally only get like hit once or so. And if you do get hit more often, you need more food, just look around and some people don't pick up bones, like right there. And you can pick those up and then turn those into bones peaches too. So you get about 160 health per, or basically per kill. So you can stay here for a long time using this method almost indefinitely, depending on how high of a level you are. The And you make a lot of money. Like here I've only been here for about a minute or two, and I've already gotten... Uh, 16k so you can make about um, I don't know the exact number probably about 300k 400k per hour if you stick to it when you're doing this and depending on how high your range level is like mine isn't that high it's 72 so I'm just I'll probably get about 200k an hour but if you have like 90 range you can probably make 300 400k an hour so this is by far I think the best money making method um, best money making method for mid levels because I'm level 90 so that's not really high and I make a lot of money off of it it helps a lot and I hope this I hope you guys found this helpful and if you did you can come check out my channel I will be doing plenty of videos like this I'm doing Minecraft right now and some RuneScape 2, I'll be doing a bunch of other games, I'll be doing a lot more once I get my new computer, because right now I don't have that great of a setup, but once I get my new computer, then I'll definitely be doing uh, more games, probably some PC gameplay of like Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3 if it comes out, hopefully this summer, probably not, that's too soon, but hopefully, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.